We want to look at writing neutralization reactions. Now, if you remember, this should be a review. We've already covered this when we did types of reactions. So remember, it always makes a salt and water. If you can't remember that, you just take your inside and your outside elements to create your new compounds. So this one right here is automatically going to give me H2O and BAF2. Now, is it balanced? Well, I noticed that there's two OHs on the left. So for practical purposes, remember I said if you have a hydroxide on the left, it would be really cool if you had one on the right. So I'm going to rewrite the water as HOH. I notice that I have one F here. I've got two on the right, so I'm going to put a two here. That gives me two hydrogens, and there's also two OHs, so I put a two here. Now, would you like to leave it like that? That's great. Just make sure that if you see that on an exam, it would probably actually be written as two H2O. Now, what about the next example? Look, it's an acid and a base, because it's going to be a neutralization reaction. Same thing. This is going to make water and NaClO4. Now, is it balanced the way you see it? Well, I've got one, two hydrogens. I've got that oxygen that's not attached to a polyatomic ion, a sodium and a sodium, and a ClO4 and a ClO4. This one's all finished. Now, why don't you try this one? See what happens, see if you get it right. Come back, check your answer. So we know that it's going to make water and calcium bromide. Now, is it balanced? Well, notice there's that 2 hanging out with that OH, so I'm going to have to have 2 here and then put a 2 in front of the HBr. And for our final example, you get water and a salt. Is it balanced? Yes, it is. So you're finished.